week. What's up? What's going on? What you got against me? If you have some beef, we can do something about it. I'm just kidding everybody. No, no, I ain't about that life. So Nick G, the host from Royalties World, is talking about what I said. This is the second time that she brought it up. I apparently it bothers her very much. Apparently it's on her mind. There's just some things you just gotta let go, man. Come on now. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, there's a channel called Royalties World. She has 158,000 subscribers. I subscribed to her channel when she was at 50,000 subs, okay? She was a reaction channel. I enjoyed her reactions to videos. At the time, I was vlogging with my wife, and even in one of our videos, I actually talked about her channel, shouting her out, telling people to go check her out because I see her up and coming. My wife and I vlogged for two years. So we did some challenges and Royalties World actually reacted to one of our videos. So I've been a supporter of hers and I still am because I am subscribed. And if y'all don't believe me, let's check it out. It tells you right there, subscribed. And my notifications are set on. But as time was passing, I'm sorry, but her videos were sucking. And it's only because she wasn't so enthusiastic as she used to be. She wasn't so excited to do her videos. You can tell she was just trying to push them out there, trying to do as many as she can. She was going through something. And I noticed it early because I myself struggled through depression throughout my whole life. But when I'm trying to have a good day, I am not gonna watch a video that's gonna bring me back down. So I had, that's why I stopped watching her videos, but I stayed subscribed because I was hoping she would come around. Then her breakup with her, with her ex came about, and her ex and her were going back and forth on the internet, and of course, I had to motherfucking react. <laughs> that's what I do. So shout out to J-Vibes too, because she also reacted to one of my videos. But apparently she don't like me much neither. <laughs> it's okay though. I have not been watching Royalties World in the last six months or so, until she came out with her documentary. In this documentary, she came out with her mental illness of depression and anxiety. I'm fighting with everybody I, uh, that's around me. Arguing with everybody that's around me. Uh, falling out with everybody that's around me. And... Do y'all see me there? Yes, I was one of those people that posted a video on Royalties World versus J Vibes. You see me right there in the bottom. Now what you're about to hear is my voice. It's actually from one of my reaction videos. So pay attention. If you, I believe Nick is 30 now. If you're at age 30 and you still don't have a place to call home, there's something wrong with that. So yeah, that's a little bit of the trailer. And yes, I still stand by what I said. It's not to bash Nick. It's not to talk shit. It's an opinion. Some people might call it a fact. Regardless, this documentary is Neek's perspective. Part two talks about her evictions. I'm paying on my rent, right? So a couple of months I couldn't pay the full rent. The lady told me like, listen, just give me what you can. You know what I'm saying? And now I work with you. She never said you would get evicted if you didn't give me the whole thing. Just, I work with you. Three months later, I had an eviction notice on my door. Well, that leads to my comment that I made that she posted on her trailer. When I said at age 30, and you don't consider a place your home, there's something wrong, people took that out of context. When I say home, they can mean a house, an apartment, a trailer, even a cardboard box doesn't matter the space. It's a place where you are surrounded with loved ones, where you are comfortable and you feel safe and secure. Stability. That's what I mean when I made my comment. At age 30, she's roaming from place to place to place, eviction to eviction to just 
from moving out state to state, it's hard to be mentally stable when you, when you can't even find stability physically. That's what I meant by my comment. I'm an honest person. I can still support you and there's gonna be times where you're not gonna like what I have to say. I can empathize towards people and I can be sympathetic towards people. But I'm gonna be honest with you because I'm gonna tell you what you don't wanna hear in order for you to get better and for you to be on the right path again. Only because I care. I don't have to know you personally to feel that way. So let's talk about depression, right? When I'm going through it, it usually lasts years. It can last from one to two years. The, the longest I've dealt with depression has actually been recent, which is three years. So I don't just talk out of my ass. If you look at my channel, you know that I talk a lot about mental awareness and mental health illnesses. I don't just say things for the hell of it. I don't just say things to knock you down. I see what I see and I may call you out on it. Listen, you see what this is right here? That's a semicolon. And those who know what depression is know exactly what that means. This semicolon symbolizes my 22nd birthday when I contemplated suicide. You see back here in the back of my ear? I'm hoping you guys can see that. It's another semicolon. This one symbolizes my suicide planning that was actually gonna take place this year. It was, about, it was around the beginning of January where I actually planned out how and where I was gonna take my life. So I know what depression is. Now in my comments, one of my subs actually told me that Neek brought up what I said again in her latest video. I saw the notification of her video. It was a house tour. And I don't like watching house tours from anybody. It's boring to me. I'm glad, I'm, I'm happy for you that you have a home, that you have a house, that these are your accomplishments and you wanna show people what you've achieved and that's all great and dandy, but it bores me. So I didn't watch it. But apparently she brought up what I said again on her video. So we're gonna go ahead and watch it. She actually gave me the timestamp on it. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. And we're gonna see what she had to say about it again. <laughs> Um, I want to say something that, uh, you know, somebody made a statement. I'm going to say that somebody is me. My name is Bliss. You can say it. It's okay. It's not, it's not giving me a free promotion. I'm doing okay by myself. <laughs> but do you like how she's like, somebody, somebody. <laughs> Let's watch that again, shall we? Statement. I'm going to say, um, I want to say something that, uh, you know, somebody made a statement. I'm going to say <laughs> something that somebody made a comment about um, me, that when you're 30 years old, if you don't have a place to stay, if you don't have a place you can call home, that is a problem. Let me tell y'all something. At 30 years old, some of us learn how to be responsible and great at 18. You know, you get kicked out of your people career, well, you move out, you go to college, you, you get an education, you you get a good job and you grow up and you just have a great home and your credit is amazing and shit like that. But see, I have a different story. And I'm not ashamed of my story. You understand me? Good. At 17, I moved out. Um, and I have gone through so many hardships to get to this point. And mentally, it was worth everything. It was worth everything. 100%. So, I don't care if you are 21, 31, 41, we all have a moment where God takes everything from up under you. He takes it all. Do you know at 40? What I agree with you 100%. I'm at the age of 35. I have a house. Who cares if I do or don't? This place is called my home. If I lived in a shoebox and I feel good inside while I'm there, it's my home. I'm doing okay right now, but, but yes, very much so. God can always take this away from me. But that's God's will, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna keep running away from my problems. And this is what you do, Neek. Everyone's story is different. Everyone has different paths. You're gonna achieve success throughout your life at different ages. Some people have a better upbringing than others. And those who struggle and come from a, from a household that wasn't so great, it's gonna be harder for them. But you have to persevere. You can't keep using it as an excuse. A lot of us have gone through it, including myself. I grew up in a trailer with a family full of eight. And until this day, I will tell you this much, that's still the best place I've ever lived in my whole life. When you go through your struggles, you're gonna fall flat on your face. So you have to work yourself back up again. But when you keep running away, and when I say running away, you, li you literally were running away from your problems. Eviction after eviction after eviction after eviction. Now, these are, now this is coming from your words, not mine. 
This is coming from your ex's words, not mine. God didn't just take that away from you. You just decided to say, fuck it. I ain't paying that shit, I'm out. Cause it's easier that way. It's easy to say, it's easy to just up and leave. When you stop running away from things and actually work on the things that you need to work on, life is so much easier and God will continue, continue to bless you. And finally, this past year, you've worked on yourself. You finally realized where you were wrong. You finally decide to open up your eyes and be like, oh shit, I'm not a victim. And look where you're at now. Now you have a place to call your own. Is this home or not? I don't know, only you can make it your home. You can have seven roommates with you and all you gotta pay is $200 a month. As long as you have stability and you're comfortable and you're secure, that $200 a month place you're staying at is your home and I'm all for you being happy. I just think you misunderstood what my statement was about, but I, I don't know how many times I have to try to explain it to you. You ain't gonna listen, I mean, you're stubborn, so don't know what to tell you. 40 and 50, you have midlife crisis. Your parents about to die, mm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you, you battling in between working and, and, and being unhealthy and, 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 and can't walk, can't talk, can't do anything. You, you, you start to become immobile if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. So everything you just listed is not what you were going through. None of it. Because you would have said it in your documentary. You just kept up and leaving. Then you lose your parents. Then you lose your job. Then you lose your house. Then you gotta depend on your 401k. Then that comes out. Do y'all know that retirement is at 59 and a half technically, but the older we, the, the, the more yes, advanced girl. this world becomes, yes, girl. the longer <laughs> you're gonna have to work. I do know that. To be, to be able to take care of yourself, to be able to just pay a fucking bill. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's tough out here in these so streets. Need to learn. Especially in Illinois. It's expensive to live out here. At 30 and not learning at 41 and 51, which although at 41 and 51, I'm gonna go through some shit too. I appreciate it so much. You know of course. Saying? So, anybody. My statement was about your mental health, girl. About your mental health. Don't let that affect your life. Come on now. I'm a small channel with 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> Is that really gonna stay on your mind with that one statement that I said? So fuck all my other videos, right? All the positivity, all the positive words I said about you and, and your progress, your weight loss, your friendship with Kentucky. Fuck all that, right? But that one sentence, that one statement is what bothered you so bad that you have to talk about it again. Come on now. Don't ever, ever let anybody tell you that you're wrong and you're doing something that, that is just so messed up because we all got our problems. But see, something about me is I'm bold enough to show y'all my problems. My me too. Look at my videos. I talk about my depression, my anxiety, my, my suicidal thoughts, my parents having COVID-19. My aunt and my uncle also have COVID-19 at the moment. And my cousin who's been staying with my parents to help them out also has it. All positive for COVID-19. I definitely got my problems, but I ain't gonna run away from it because I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna allow depression to fuck up my life. As close as it did, I have to make shit happen because I am worth it. And so are you, Neek. So are you. To us, because it ain't an embarrassment to me. Uh, uh, my my downfalls. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the motherfucking tunnel is always a light, baby. You get what I'm saying? And mine is shining bright, so I'm happy as hell. To who, whomever, because uh, I would never say your name. To whomever said that, God bless you. Other than this why wh why don't you ever want to say my name? It's Bliss, and my channel is Bliss Uncensored. It's okay, girl. It's all right. Listen. You misunderstood my statement. Like I said, I explained it as much as I could. Still not getting through your head. It bothers you in some way because you talk about it and you don't want to say my name. <laughs> and I definitely do not regret saying it because guess what? My statement motivated you to do better, to get where you're at right now. It was a push because on your house tour video, you brought up my statement. So you're welcome, Neek. <laughs> you are welcome. And that's the whole point of my channel. It's about speaking your truths, being honest, speaking your thoughts and your opinions, always. I feel that my purpose in life is to help people. Whether someone like her who takes it the wrong way, flips it to motivate her, it worked. Now, I ain't about this YouTube beef. I ain't about that life. Because by the end of the day, Neek, we don't know each other. We've never met. We only talked about business through messages. I'm all for everyone pulling through out of depression. So I'm glad to see that you're doing better. And yes, God will bless me 
So thank you, God is continuing to bless me because I am still here. He blesses me every morning, every day I wake up. So yes, thank you and I hope God blesses you too. I'm pretty sure that was you being a smart ass, but I'm act I actually mean what I say. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna leave this video here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace.